Hi guys, Happy New Year to you all. I hope uh, you're all staying safe and keeping well. Um, nice to have a, a, uh, a weekend without anger and upset and complaint. Um, Tottenham social medias will be awash with happy fans, hopefully, um, of gaining those three points and moving us back up into the, into the mix of the top four. Um, felt that we deserved it today. I felt that um, the game started off with a, a little bit of a worry over it. Leeds are a very good attacking, counter-attacking, uh, passing team, uh, attractive to watch. Uh, and I felt, you know, to be fair to them, I felt they played well today. I didn't think they played uh, that badly. Um, the scoreline probably flatters us slightly. I think, you know, it was a fairly even even battle most of, most of the time. Um, but of course, you've got to bury those chances when you, when you get them, which is something that we've learned to our cost over the last few weeks, isn't it? So, um, first one, Bergwijn, penalty, absolutely bang on penalty for me. I, I don't think you can really argue it. Was he on the out, out, you know, edge of the box? I didn't think so. You know, he came into the guy whilst he was in the box, took him down. For me, it's a penalty all day long. You know, if Pogba can trip himself up and get a penalty, I'm pretty sure getting taken down in the penalty area is a penalty. So, you know, happy with that. Um, of course, Hyung Min Song, what can we say about Sonny? What can we say about Sonny that's not been said before, apart from goal number 100? A beautifully taken goal by, uh, by Sonny. Um, great vision uh, from Harry Kane, who, uh, who gets yet another assist bringing so much more to this team and so much more to his game um, than just being the man who bangs him into the back of the net. The penalty taking one season wonder is clearly showing that he's uh, an out and out quality player who deserves far more recognition and far more um, respect from supporters of other teams than he currently gets. Um, but Sonny, you know, coming over as a player that we all kind of went you know, why are we bringing this guy in, another winger, do we really need him, you know, when we're actually crying out for a, we're actually crying out for a, for a striker, second striker, um, you know, yet we're bringing this guy in, well, you know, he's proved any doubter that was there wrong, um, I think he's been fantastic, fantastic for the team, fantastic for the squad, um, you know, and long may that continue, I, I think he, he deserves so much praise, such a, such a great guy as well, such an honest player. Um, you know, you know, his performances, you know, week in, week out are up there. You know, even when he's not having the greatest of games, you know, he's still putting in his a lot of effort, and he, he cares, and he wants to be, you know, part of that squad. I think that's absolutely commendable. And like I say, Harry Kane, you know, I, I, the disrespect that he gets is 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 unbelievable. But uh, you know, for a player that can, you know, score with his left foot, his right foot, his header, he can score inside the box, outside the box. He can, you know, he can defend, um, defend um, corners. Um, as a defender, you know, he can be a playmaker. You know, the guy's got everything in his all round game, and you know, I think we are so so lucky to have him in our squad. And I know I've said this stuff before. You know, um, but what a great goal! You know, great vision, um, great ball through, and and just the the you know the sweeping movement of moving that ball in, beating the keeper at his near post, absolutely fantastic. Um, I felt that we would probably then sit back, you know, sit back and defend and, and see where it goes. But I think maybe with a little bit of criticism that Tottenham have been getting, they they wanted to kill the game off. Um, and uh, and obviously Toby did that, you know, he got he got his head to the ball. Clearly a goal for me. I, I know there was a little bit of talk. I, I don't know whether it was on the same um, um, discussions that, that you guys have seen, but I've I seen some stuff where they're saying, oh, the, ball, the whole of the ball wasn't over the line and blah, blah, blah. No, it was clearly over the line for me. You know, I don't think you can doubt it at all. Um, and Toby got, got a, you know... Gets a, gets credited with another goal and and well deserved. You know, two uh, two defenders around him. He got in between them, stuck it in his nut. A bit bit of a shame for the keeper because obviously they get judged on mistakes they make. And obviously falling back into his own goal is not not you know not the best of keeping that that you would expect. But this happens, you know. Um, 
but I say you know after that I, I felt we we just defended really really well and, and and kept it kept it tight you know um Leeds played the ball well they passed the ball well but but Hugo was never really never really um um tested not not to any degree that that you'd be worried about um and and overall it just felt it just felt very very you know very very easy you know and calm and confident I didn't feel that we were under any real pressure um which which I have in in the recent games it's always felt really kind of edgy um but I didn't feel edgy today I, I felt that we were were in control of it and, and uh, we knew what we were doing so you know I'm I'm really happy with that I'm really happy with that today um and uh you know, uh, the weekend will be uh, a lot sweeter for it. At least we won't have to sit there and uh, read all the negativity on, on social media, um, which we all get dragged into. So, you know, happy days. You know, I'm sure we can we can move on back into the top four. Um, we just need to build from that and, and just keep things going. You know, this season ain't over until it's over. So you just have to stay positive and follow your team, right? You know, we love Spurs. We all, you know, we always have and always will. Nothing's going to change it. Don't matter what you do. Don't matter how upset you get with them. You're still going to love them because it's in your blood. It's in your heart. So, at the end of the day, we we live to fight another day. Up the Spurs.